Hey guys, welcome to What I Ate Wednesday. It's an early day today. It's almost 7 o'clock. I'm going to the vet today um, in the morning and then another teaching in the afternoon day. So, busy day and this time I am a lot of our technician or, or technician assistants are away on the holidays, so I'm doing all tech work. So it's going to be very busy. I'm not going to have time to eat much. So having a big bowl of oatmeal, um, and then I have two little pineapple pieces in it as well, just to give it some more flavor. I've been doing cinnamon, but now I decided to go back to pineapple, um, at least for today. And yeah, just gives it a little more freshness in the morning. Uh, I'm just going to eat this and continue getting ready. And I think our surgeries only start at like. 8.30, so and I get there at 8, so I still will take a tea because I'll have time to drink a little bit of it at least. So yeah, I'll show you what tea I'm going to take. So for tea, I'm just steeping it right now. I'm going with the David's Tea Chocolate Chili Chai. It's not one of my favorites, but as you know from my video, um, but I probably will just drink like a lot of it right off the bat and then leave like half of it because I'll run out of time drinking it. Um, so I don't want to waste like a gingerbread or one of the other like birthday cake or something like that. So I'm um, just having it steeping here. Ma. My cup's just a little too big to fit for my machine, but oh well. So it has to go, yeah, on an angle. But that's okay. So just steeping this like that. And I will see you guys back here at lunchtime. I'm back from the vet, home for lunch for about 45 minutes, yes. Um, so I'm going to have some Brussels sprouts, just four of them, but they are quite big, with leftover chili. Um, I'm going to get started on the Brussels sprouts and then I'm going to change out my scrubs. Uh, but they take about 15 minutes, so I'm going to get started right away. So I'm just going to half them. Um, and then put them face down in a pan um, with a little bit of oil in them. I've browned them for a couple minutes and then turned them and then now I'm having, it's not really vegetable stock, it's just water with some spices added to it. Ooh, that's hot. And then just going to cover it. Oh, that's really steamy. And turn it down. Alright, so that only took about like 10 minutes. Um, so I have a couple of my Brussels sprouts and then now uh, my chili. Oh, we didn't put corn in it. Last time we put corn in the chili and I was saying how amazing it was. It's still good, it's just very spicy and I, I like that sweetness from the corn. Anyway, let's try some Brussels sprouts. Mmm. Mmm. Good. Brussels sprouts are one of the things I used to hate as a child. My parents for Thanksgiving and Christmas dinner, I'd always have to eat one just to, you know, to try it because you don't know if you don't like it unless you try it. And apparently every year I had to do that. But now as an adult, I love them. <laughs> so yeah, no, I enjoy them. All right, having this for a quick lunch, having a little bit of honey roasted cashews that we got from Bulk Burn. They're actually really good. At first I didn't like them, but now I like them. Um, and we already ate the mini eggs, mostly meat. For every one I'd give down, I had two, which is terrible. Anyways, I'm going to see what tea I want to bring for work today. Can't believe I already have to go teaching. I like sat down for 10 minutes and then now I'm like, all right, I gotta go soon. Mm. All right, so with me to work, uh, the tea I have is cardamom macchiato and still lots of the cardamom seeds. Oh, it's tripping. Uh, so I'm gonna have that after again. And then I made it more like an actual Oh, macchiato. I did froth milk on top, so you can kind of see. Yeah. So hopefully I like it better. Um, all right, off to teaching now. I am back from work, and Dan is just baking slash reheating dinner. Um, but first, before we eat, we are going or before we eat that, we're gonna have a salad. So I have lettuce as well as the. <laughs> sweet kale mix from Costco. Now this one is clearly not the recalled one for Listeria, but I do appreciate everyone um, commenting on my Costco haul, just uh, making me aware. And it's true, the first person that commented I actually didn't even know yet, so um, I hadn't heard of it. So and then I looked online and I read that, oh yes, uh, it has been recalled, but I looked at the expiry date and the UPC and this one is different. Um, but yeah, so thank you for telling me about it just in case. You can never be too sure. Um, so yeah, having that first and then um, for dinner, yesterday Dan made a butternut squash soup um, and very delicious. Now I knew that today we just are 
reheating the soup, which I'm like, well, that's a boring Monday, Wednesday. So I did actually film us making it yesterday. Um, so I will insert that here now. And yes, this is how we made our butternut squash soup yesterday. To make our squash soup, first we have two butternut squashes. They're kind of medium size or small size, that's okay. We're cutting them in half and we are going to roast them up. So now we're going to just put some of the olive oil on the squash and then just put it in and then we're going to roast it in the oven for about an hour at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. And then that's going to be the base of our soup. Now we took the squash out of the oven and it's looking very hot. And I think we're eventually going to turn them upside down and scoop out the flesh. We have onions going on heating up in the pot and now we are taking the fleshy part out of the squashes. So obviously we don't want the rind, except it's a little tricky because they're still really hot. I think you're supposed to let them sit for a lot longer, but we just want to eat. So Now adding in four cups of vegetable broth. And then now all of the squash. And we're gonna cook it for about 20 minutes. Now it's been cooking for about half an hour, so we're adding some milk in. The original recipe calls for heavy cream, but that's a lot of extra calories that we won't notice, so we're not having that. Um, so now we're going to emulsify it with the immersion blender just to make it nice and creamy. Now just serving up. And then putting a polenta cake on top. <laughs> All right, so I've reheated my squash soup from yesterday. And then just like yesterday, we made some little polenta cake rounds. This was actually the polenta that you get in a tube. Um, and then we just cut it. Yesterday's were a little thicker. This time it was thinner, so it's more like a crouton. Um, so then... Oh dear, that just flew in there. Anyways, and then I've also added red pepper flakes from yes or from yesterday's. I've learned that I like the spice on that. And then a little bit of parsley for, well, decor, but then a little bit of other smaller pieces of parsley in there. Um, just to, yeah, make it more delicious. And I can put another one in there. Ooh, yum! <laughs> And that's what it looks like. And actually, yeah, I eat the these ones as like a dipping crouton. Mmm, <laughs> mmm, mm, that's so good. It is such a good soup, and it was actually so simple. I mean, there's the like roasting time, so you have to plan ahead because you roast squash, um, but and then cooking for a little bit, but of like active time, it was very minimal. Um, and it's really good and oh, I love it. So having this for dinner now. Um, mm, it's so delicious. <laughs> I'm so excited. Excellent. So eating that for dinner. That was delicious dinner and yeah, super speedy to heat up. And this time Dan put more spice on the polenta than yesterday. Yesterday, I think you said a little bit of salt and maybe pepper? I don't even know, but this time he put um, yeah, I don't know what he put on it, but it was really good and those were a little spicy too. Um, yeah, so now just relaxing for the rest of the evening. I actually have a lot of prepping and things to do for tomorrow because I'm also at the vet again tomorrow morning and then going to teaching. Um, but enjoying a little score bar piece. Mmm, I was just not. So, I will see you guys next week on What Ate Wednesday and on um, Friday the 22nd in a special video. <laughs> see you guys later. Bye.